Hello everyone, Cat Weasel here. Welcome back to Arkham Horror, the Dunwich Horror, turn 22 of the game that would not die. Well, it's going to snuff it pretty soon. I can't see us lasting much longer. But what we're going to do is we're going to try and be a bit cheeky. Let's try and get a couple more gate trophies. So, check the rules. If you're in another world when the balloon goes up, then that's fine. You just come back. You don't get lost in time and space or anything. You just come back to Arkham and you've got to fight the big bad. So, so long as something else doesn't happen, let's try and get a couple more gate trophies, which will be very useful in our battle against yogg -Sothoth. So how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to do that by changing things slightly. But before I go into that, uh, another quick thing. During the last turn, I sort of mentioned giving $2 to Agnes and then said, oh no, I can't do it, I can't do it. I could do it, I'm just getting mixed up in my phases for some bizarre reason. It was the movement phase. So what I've done is I have given Agnes $2. We'll just pretend that she didn't find it. Uh, Monty just put it in her pocket and she hasn't found it till this turn. Um, I would have... Uh, if he hadn't have had a brain spasm, I would have given her $2 and she would have fully healed up last turn. So the money went into her pocket and she's only just found it now. So we'll just play it that way. Okay, so where is everybody? Our first player, funnily enough, is Agnes. She's here at St Mary's Hospital still. After her, it's Daisy Walker and Daisy's up at Arkham Asylum. Then it will be Monterey Jack, who's it? The science building, then to be followed by good old William. What's the slight change in plan? Well, a slight change in plan is Agnes is going to take on the Ithian because we want Daisy and we also want Monterey Jack to go into a gate. They can go into the unvisited isle and the unnameable, the pair of them. So we'll do it that way. See if we can eke out a couple of more turns and get ourselves a couple of gate trophies. Okay, so let's get on with the upkeep phase. And here's Agnes. First thing to do is obviously we'll refresh Law Monster. And once again, we are actually going to roll for a blessing first. Because if she doesn't keep a blessing, then there's not much point in us getting the Ithian towards us, because we're going to struggle. A five, she keeps a blessing. That's good. Right, what else are we going to do? Well, before we roll for Law Monster, she's got two focus. So we're going to move a focus up to, because we want a will up to two. So a will's up to two. She's got plus one will here. She's got the cross, which is plus one to horror checks as well. So I think what we shall do is we'll do law monster, I think. Should we do shriveling as well? We could do shriveling as well. It's just to give her plus six, plus that. And then we don't have to use the fetch stick. And it means we can get the extra cross because the fetch stick has got two hands. But we're a bit low. We're a bit low on these. Uh, I don't want it to go down to one sanity, you see. Arr, what to do, what to do, what to do. Uh, no, we'll leave shriveling. We'll leave shriveling. We'll get rid of this and this. Should put those to one side. And we will actually use the fetch stick, which will give us plus seven to the combat check. Right, so plus seven to the combat check. But first, we've got to do law monster. We've got to get the Yithian there. So we're going to spend one stamina. The reason for that, obviously, is we've now got two dollars to fully heal up. Casting modifiers minus one. Sanity cost is one we've just paid with stamina as per her special ability. 
So she's got six, minus one, five blessed dice. And she, ooh, only one success. So we did manage it, which is cool. So we'll move the Ithian. That is now in St Mary's Hospital, where I'm sure it's, uh, it's really welcome. What else has she got to do? We've put the fetch stick there, we've moved to focus, she's rolled for a blessing, we're fine. Right, let's go to Daisy Walker. One other thing we've got to refresh is, I knew we were getting an extra plus one for the horror check from somewhere, Courageous Inspirations, that's available again to Agnes when she takes on the Ithian. Coolness. Right, Daisy, let's refresh our chemical process. Uh, we won't roll for a blessing yet. First, we shall roll for alchemical process. We're not going to use law, mon law monster as we were going to, so that can go back. But I am going to leave vision quest out, so I don't forget to use it. All right, so here we go. Um, eight dice, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And she gets three. She gets her three dollars and knocks alchemical process out like she always does. But now we are up to fifteen dollars again. So we'll get another five. Keep it a bit neat. Right now we've done that. We're not going to cast any other of these spells that she's got. So let's see. Blessing, she keeps it. Fantastic. Keep it going. Let's keep it going. So she remains blessed. Now, she needs to get to the unvisited isle or the unnameable. She's got four movement. One, two. Th yeah, that's more than enough. Keep the Sword of Glory. Excellent. And we'll keep Vision Quest. Because, in fact, We'll have a go in the unvisited aisle. I'm going to put Vision Quest on the unvisited aisle so I don't forget. Next up is Monterey Jack. And here's Monty. We're going to take a bit of a risk with Monty. First of all, let's give him his dollar. He is, after all, Deputy of Arkham. Still. Right. So, what we're going to do, we're going to send him into the unnameable, probably. So, let's see if he'll do it blessed. It is a bit of a risk because he's only got one sanity. But he is blessed. So we're going to risk it for a biscuit. The main reason is we could really do with an extra gate trophy. Why not? So we're, ooh, we're, um, <laughs> we're taking a bit of a risk. It is a bit more of a risk than I'd normally take, but we're near the end of the game. And I think it is worth it. OK, let's go up to William Yorick. And here we are with William. And what he's going to do, first things first, he's going to spend a sanity. Because he's going to put another marker against sealing the beast's power. So we need one more. One more, and we get Yogg-Sothoth down to minus three combat modifier. That will be extremely useful. So he's done that now. What's he going to do? He has to get to the old magic shop. He's going to use a patrol wagon, so no big deal. Be quite easy. He doesn't have to roll for his blessing because he doesn't have one. There's nothing in the way, so he's just going to get there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So that's it for William. Okay, he's last in the upkeep phase, so let's get on to the movement phase. And here we are with Agnes. Big turn, big turn for Agnes. Yep, she's got to take the Ithian on. So first of all, we've got the horror check, which we must, must pass. Now she's got plus one will. She's got two will anyway, that's three. And she's going to exhaust Courageous Inspirations again, which gives us four dice. Minus one. So we have three dice. 
And two sixes. Easy. Easy. Right. So now we've got to take it on and kill it in combat. Minus two. She's got the fetch stick, which is plus seven. She's got plus two fight, which is nine. So that is seven dice. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come on, Agnes. Yes, look at that. One, two, three, four, five. Woohoo! She killed the Ithian. The other thing about that, that's another three toughness points of monster. So I think she's got enough now. No, she hasn't. She only had a cultist. Dang! So she hasn't got five toughness of monsters, unfortunately. But we have now killed every monster in Arkham. So that isn't too bad, is it? So, brilliant stuff from the lovely Agnes. Next up, it's Daisy Walker. And here's Daisy. So she's just going to go one, two, three into the unvisited aisle. First of all, let's see where we're going. Got a Yogoth, a minus two gate. Damn. And we've got Vision Quest. So I should have done this last time to get the clue in Independent Square, but I forgot. But the end of the movement you can cast an exhaust in order to take all the clue tokens in your current neighbourhood. And we've got one here. So let's have a go. She's got a law of five. Casting modifier is zero anyway. Sanity cost is one, but because of a special ability, it isn't it's a cost of nothing for her. So we've just got to roll five dice. Let's take the five successes that Agnes just got and roll them. And four successes, that'll do. So she gets this clue token. So she's up to four clues. We're not going to spend it to seal the gate, we're just going to close the gate. But that should come in useful against Yog. So let's exhaust Vision Quest. And that is the end of Daisy's movement. Next up, Monterey Jack. And here's Monty. Now the way's been cleared for him, he can just go one, two, three. He's only moving three, remember, so it doesn't affect his blood disease. Where's he going to be going? Whoop. Oh, he's going to the much nicer another time. Cool. Only a plus zero gate. Excellent. Next up will be William Yorick. Here's Will. And, as per normal, jumps in the patrol wagon. Straight to the old magic shop. Brilliant stuff. Right, that's the end of the movement phase. Now for the Arkham Encounter phase. Let's zoom in a bit more on Agnes. She's going to spend that $2 that she didn't realise she had last turn. And she is going to fully heal. So that puts her back up to 5 stamina. Which is excellent. Next up, Daisy Walker. And here we are with Daisy. She's just going on a little trip to Yugoth. So we'll see her shortly. Similarly, Monterey Jack. He's going up. For a little trip to another time, which is up on the Dunwich board. We'll see him in a bit. And our final player in the Arkham Encounter phase is William Yorick down at Ye Olde Magic Shop. And here we are with William. Unfortunately, we don't have five dollars. I would like to avoid having an encounter, but we're gonna have to have one. So let's have a shuffle. Go. Right, let's see what we get. Miriam Beecher looks deep into your heart. Prove to me your courage and I'll do what I can to aid you. For every monster trophy you have, gain one stamina or one sanity. He's got one. He's got the vampire. He's full up on s stamina, but he's going to have an extra sanity. In fact, that'll actually pay for the last of the Sealing the Beast power. So, oh, that's pretty good. I'm glad he had a <laughs> glad he had an encounter after all. Excellent. Right, 
Cool. So no rolling involved. Let's get straight on to the Otherworld Encounter phase. And Daisy's up first. So we need a blue or a yellow gate card. That's green. Blue. Oh, and we've got one for Yugoth. The stone creature pursues you. Pass a speed minus one check to escape with the statue. What's the speed? Well, the speed's four. So she's going to get three blessed dice. Come on, Daisy. And she passes all three. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant stuff. Right. Let's read the rest of it. Gaining five dollars and two clue tokens. Yes! The five dollars isn't here nor there, but two clue tokens. Brilliant. We'll obviously take the five dollars, but it's the two clue tokens that are important there. That is fabulous. Brilliant stuff. Mind you, I wish Watts it had got that. I wish Montre Jack had got that. I think our chances of getting a good encounter card next are, are small. Right, let's go and see Monty. Here's Monty in another time. We could do with a very similar encounter. So it's red or green. First up is red. We've got Relay of the Dreamlands. Other, pass a luck minus one check. And he looks fantastic to find a quiet spot to rest. And we could get two stamina and two sanity. Could do with half passing this one as well. How lucky is that? He's got five luck. He's blessed, so he's getting four dice. Come on. And he passes. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. What an absolutely fantastic pair of cards those were. Two stamina and two sanity. Great. Absolutely fab. That puts him up to where well, stamina's at full, but his, his sanity is now back at three. He can go up to four, remember, because he passed his uh, personal story, but he is back to three sanity. And that's good, because that was what was really bothering me about going into another world. The fact he only had one sanity, but he's got a good encounter. We're laughing. Right, now it's the Mythos phase. And here's Arkham. Right, what we need now, um, anything but a normal gate. Even a gate burst is fine. That We don't put a Doom token on. But what we don't want is a normal gate. Right, what are we going to get? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, damn it. Wizard's Hill again. Ah, that's the first bit of bad luck we've had this turn. It was going really well. Oh, what a pig. Right. So, we're up to 11 on the Doom track. Oh, I don't know if we'll be able to close those gates in time now. Right, let's put a gate on Wizard's Hill, which has had loads of gates this turn. Oh, perhaps I shouldn't have shot any. Mind you, if we hadn't have shot any, we wouldn't have enough gate trophies, would we? Oh, damn it. Right, um, monster. We got a monster. We're gonna get some of the Dunwich, mind you, I don't think we'll get the Dunwich Horror coming out anyway. So let's have a go, what we got? Another cultist. I can't get cultists for love no money in Eldritch Horror. But I don't have any trouble in Arkham, do I? Right. He's guarding Wizard's Hill. <laughs> Slightly high frequency gate. Um. One good thing is, oh, if in Visited Isle had been above, we'd have just got a, a monster surge. Oh. Clue appears at Gardener's Place or the Science Building. Well, it'd be Gardener's Place. But it goes to, so clue up there. Right, monster movement. Um, squares and diamonds. 
We have got a square, it's the LIGO, that's going to go off, but there's nobody in, uh, in the vicinity, so we're fine. We've got no diamonds, and we've got no circles. Right. So, that's it for monster movement. Seven for a secret, never to be told. Environment mystic. During the upkeep phase, the first player rolls two dice. If the sum of the result is seven... Each investigator with no clue tokens gains one clue token and loses one sanity. Well, that's not too bad. Well, it isn't now, because <clears throat> Monterey Jack's off one sanity. He's now got three, so it isn't too bad now. So, we didn't have an evil fog for long. That disappears. To be replaced. Seven for a secret never to be told. Right, let's get rid of that. Okay, how did the turn go? Well, the turn went very well. Uh, the only fly in the ointment is that gate. Oh, we got some. Um, we did real. That's a, we did pretty fantastic on encounters there. William got a good encounter. Then Daisy got a good encounter, and uh, so did Monty. Mind you, it helped being blessed. Both Daisy and Monty did have to pass uh, checks. But because um, they were blessed, like we were laughing, uh, William just uh, just looked out. But um, yeah, that did really well. Um, especially Monty getting back up to three sanity. That's that's just brilliant. But all we need next turn, we do need a surge or something, a surge or just something that doesn't open a gate. Like I say, a, even a gate burst is preferable. We just need one. One turn, the next turn we'll be able to go into the second part of the other worlds and then we just need another turn so they can come out and have a go at shutting the gates. Perhaps we can get another two gate trophies. But it could all be over next turn. All we need, another gate and that's it. Yog's awake. But at least, at least, during the upkeep phase, uh, as well as having to do that, um, that die roll, uh, for the new environment card, William will finish sealing the beast's power. That cannot be stopped now. Yog will go down to minus three, so that gives us more of a chance. Looks like we're going to end on a massive battle, depending on how many, you know, when the next gate appears. Could be next turn, could be the turn after, you never know. The way this game's going... We could be like having monster surges for another 12 turns or something ridiculous. But as it stands, that was a good turn apart from that gate. That gate's like sort of, ugh, it's just made it a bit, a bit of a nail biter. But hopefully we will be able to close a couple more of these gates. If we can do that, then we've got a couple more gate trophies. Fortunately, Yogg is going to go down to minus three on his combat modifier. I can't see any way that William's going to be stopped completing Sealing the Beast's power. So that's good news. Okay, well, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks very much for all the subscriptions and all the comments. And uh, all the best wishes and uh, rules discussions, etc, etc, etc. They are very much appreciated. I do apologise you've had to wait a few days. But you know it is, it's Christmas, finishing work, went out, few do's, few hangovers, just the way it goes, man. But I'm back now. Okay, oh, and something else. Um, I was wondering what to play next. I was going to play A Touch of Evil, um, but really we've gone past Christmas now. I was going to play it over Christmas, I wasn't expecting like the longest game in the world ever. But what I picked up today on my way home from work is the new Eldritch Horror expansion under the pyramids. So, sorry, I think we'll give we'll give a brand new game a go. So, I have got Zombie Side, but Doug's playing that at the moment, and I did get Room Bound, but um, J Play uh, went through that. So, what I might try and do is snide a brand new thing out before anybody else. <laughs> but that depends on how many like days it's going to take me to finish this. But um, hopefully between Christmas and New Year, we'll have a bit of the brand new Eldritch Horror expansion. Okie dokie, right, so that's it for turn 22. I hope you join me for turn 23. But until then, this is me, Cat Weasel, signing off.
Toodaloo.